It's as if you were sitting in the middle of a movie theater with a white screen 360 degrees all around you, but the movie projected onto that screen was coming from inside your own brain. In other words, although we don't know exactly how this works yet, your brain is the movie projector, and the movie you're watching, that you're totally immersed in, is a hologram and is not real. In 1991, before all this recent research took place, Michael Talbot asked, If the holographic brain model is taken to its logical conclusions, it opens the door on the possibility that objective reality, the world of coffee cups, mountain vistas, elm trees, and table lamps, might not even exist. Is it possible that what is out there is really a vast, resonating symphony of wave forms, a frequency domain that is transformed into the world as we know it, only after it enters our brain? Of course, now we know the answer is yes. That's exactly what's happening. There is no out there, out there, independent of what's going on in here. Reality is unset jello. That's the way I like to put it. it is, this, this just big indeterminate sledge out there that's, that's, that's uh, um, our potential life. And, there's, uh, and that we, by our very act of involvement, our act of noticing, our observation, we get that jello to set. We're intrinsic to the whole process of reality. Um, our involvement creates that reality. And so we have this, this involvement in everything. We are our world. There's no out there, out there. We are, we are, there's no place where we end and everything else begins. David Boehm, you remember him, said that the tangible reality of our everyday lives is really a kind of illusion, like a holographic image. Underlying it is a deeper order of existence a vast and more primary level of reality that gives birth to all the objects and appearances of our physical world in much the same way that a piece of holographic film gives birth to a hologram. Here are some more quotes from the holographic universe by Michael Talbot. For Pribram, this synthesis made him realize that the objective world does not exist at least not in the way we are accustomed to believing. What is out there is a vast ocean of waves and frequencies. And reality looks concrete to us only because our brains are able to take this holographic blur and convert it into sticks and stones and other familiar objects that make up our world. If the concreteness of the world is but a secondary reality, and what is out there is actually a holographic blur of frequencies, and if the brain is also a hologram and only processes some of those frequencies out of this blur, what becomes of objective reality? Put quite simply, it ceases to exist. Although we may think we are physical beings moving through a physical world, this is an illusion. We are really receivers floating through a kaleidoscopic sea of frequency. Michael Talbot was clearly ahead of his time, because now we have proof that there is no out there, out there. All there is is a holographic 3D total immersion movie which we are projecting so that it appears to be out there. Now the interesting question comes. Is there one big hologram of the universe that we all see and are all part of? Isn't that what is meant by the holographic universe? The answer is no. Each individual must have their own individual and unique hologram they are projecting.
their own private reality. Why? Well, remember the quote from Carl Pribram, who believes that the brain is itself a hologram which mathematically constructs hard reality by relying on input from a frequency domain. Since there is not one large common brain, there is also not one large common hologram. Each individual human brain receives and translates its own separate, individual, and uniquely downloaded hologram. If there was a common hologram, one big hologram of the universe for everyone, then we would each see reality exactly the same. And that doesn't happen. We all see reality just a little differently. For example, we're walking... Now, these are small, minor examples. But our mental hospitals are full of people who see a very different reality than the rest of us. So different that they cannot handle it, and neither can society handle them. So each individual must have their own unique hologram they are projecting, their own private reality, especially since we each have an individual brain receiving our own personal holographic downloads. Besides, if there were one giant hologram we are all part of, it would mean there would be an independent, objective reality out there, and all the experts say that's not true. There is no out there, out there. There's no out there, out there. There's an old New Age saying, you create your own reality. While this is technically not true, what is true is that you are projecting your own unique holographic 3D experience that has been downloaded from the field to your brain. It's time to pull together everything we have learned in parts 1 and 2 of this workshop series. We started with the double slit experiment, and we're going to end that way.